Hi guys, Robby46 here. Welcome yourselves back to MotoGP21 on the PS5. It's time to do the final two races in Moto2. I mean, in terms of standings, we haven't quite wrapped it up, but if we uh, just score a few more points and lows at Sepang, providing we, we finish Sepang with more than a 25-point lead, we will wrap the title up with one race to go. Um, so yeah, Sepang, five laps. Let's go do it. Please be dry. Yes. Right, let's go. Okay, I've swapped tyres. I was on hard front, hard rear. The track temperature is 44 degrees, but I'm over two seconds off the pace, so we're down in 15th at the moment, which doesn't bode well. See if we can uh, make a bit of time up with the mediums. Hopefully we can. I mean, sadly, the uh, Malaysian Grand Prix has been cancelled this this season, which is very annoying. Did you get some good racing around here? I mean, that was a much better sector one from me. Much better with a medium rear tyre in. Still under the time at the moment. This corner was destroying the hard rear tyre. But the medium? The medium is fine. That is weird. That is very weird. Like I said, the track temperature is 44 degrees, which is what the hard tyres work in. The mediums should be overheating, but they're not. Oh! That was a crash for someone then. This has been a much better lap from me. We could go pole. No. We have jumped. Oh yeah, we have got pole. <laughs> Only just though. That took a while to update then. So we've gone pole with a 205.5. Is that enough? There we go. Pole position just from Joe Roberts and just from Ralph Fernandez in third. That was a tough qualifying session. Hard front and rear just weren't working. Well, Lowe's is down in eighth position. He's got it all to do. Time to get this race underway. Right. Here we go then, Sepang. See, it's 44 degrees again. I'm going to gamble with the medium front, medium rear because they were working a hell of a lot better than the hards were in qualifying and it was 44 degree track temperature then. Am I the only one? No, Joe Roberts has gone for... Oh, someone's down. Was that? One of them is Lowe's, I think. Oh, there's lots of crashes happening in the background. Oh, dear. Wow. <laughs> that. I don't think I've ever seen that before on this game. Be interesting to see if they have any damage. I know it's one of the Mark VDS bikes. I couldn't tell whether that was Lodes or Fernandez. Right, here we go. An ultimate race of the season. Good start from Joe Roberts. Good start from a lot of them, to be fair. Gonna have to try and be... Oh, Joe's through. So is Fernandez. Oh. Gardner. Where's he going? Oh, okay. Oh, that's Lowe's right there. So not a good start from me. We went from the lead down to sixth. I think we momentarily went seventh as well. OK, 
Okay, come on MV Augusta. If it finishes as it, as it is now, then we would be champion because we're ahead of Lowe's. Lowe's needs to win. He needs to win or at least come second place. Sepang is a strange one on this game. As so we hit the rev limiter. A la Maverick Vinales. And again. MV Augusta won't like that. Well not this MV Augusta engine. It's a Triumph engine. Right power map in three. Let's see if we can get through on these two. We can. Oh. No, Viati. Please stop, please stop, please stop. Just about. We're behind Lowe's now, though. Okay, let's get back past Lowe's. Front nearly went. Lowe's is back through. He's given a good fight. Oh. Come on. This is still fine for the championship if we finish as we are. Oh god, we've still got Vietti behind us at the moment. Okay. Oh, Lowe's is down! Lowe's is down! For the championship! That's it. Someone else has just gone down as well. Oh, Vietti, go away. You've already punted me wide before. But yeah, Lowe's, he touched the inside curb. That was good into the final corner there. We don't need to fight, really. We just got a score. Well, it depends on how many points Lowe's gets but it's not going to be many that's even if he's got going again Oh, stay off that curb, that curb. I've, I've, I've been off on that curb in free practice. Bezeki's still there. I've left the door well wide open just in case he came through and he has. Vietti's just gone down, so I haven't got to worry about him anymore. Probably exactly the same crash as Lowe's. Oh, 
that didn't work. Got a bit of a gap behind, which is fine. That was my best lap of the race so far. Doors open. Bezeki not through. The right hand side of the rear tyre is wearing out quite rapidly now. Keep just trying to go forward. If we could catch Gardner, that would be really good. I don't know if we will. Oh! Hang on! What's happened there? All three, or two, two of the guys in, well, not lead him, but second and third went down. We are now second in this race as I completely mess that corner up, getting a bit overexcited. Back down the third now. Bezeki's got me. What a ride from Joe Roberts this is. He's got a massive lead now. Uh oh. One lap to go. And we're looking good for the podium. Do I want to fight with Bezeki on the final lap? Well, that was a crap exit. If we can close back in on Bezeki, then yes, that would be fine. It's whether we can or not, though. Now, I think Bezeki's just that little bit too far away at the moment. He's got through there, okay. So did Roberts. Oh, the right-hand side of the rear tyre is protesting. Someone's gone down. That's further behind us, so... Yeah, we're not close enough to get Bezeki here. Third place, though, I will take that. Lorenzo Baldessari, my teammate. Fourth position. What a result that's going to be for MV Augusta. Well done, Joe Roberts. Well done, Bezeki. We get third. That is the championship. Done. There is the trophy to suggest that Moto 2 champion so Joe Roberts I don't know how that we managed to uh well he had a massive lead obviously didn't help with uh Gardner 
and I think Fernandez crashing um, on one of the laps. Lowe's. Oh, I don't think he got going again. He didn't. DNF for Lowe's. DNF for quite a few people. There we go. That's our job done. So 56 points. There's only 25 points left on the table. We've done it. Team championship though. Eight points behind. Oh, that's going to be close right at the end. Very close. Right, part fair, mate. One race to go. Whew. Yeah, we just run out of rear tyre at the end of that race there, but I'm, I'm still happy we went with the, the medium front and medium rear. It was only slightly, you know, last couple of laps that the, the rear tyre was protesting a bit, but other than that, if we had gone for the hard, I don't think we would have had the pace. But it's good. It is good. Okay, what I am going to do is can we get all four of these going yes we can so we will get the the contracts from them very soon um there will be a poll out on the channel the community tab of the channel by now um and yeah we'll see what you guys vote for me to to use for next season um i won't obviously pick it at the end of this this video we will uh do it at the start of the next one so we can advance the week to valencia and it's going oh hang on i think we've uh, received all those contracts already we have indeed so nah we're fine six laps Please be dry. It doesn't matter if it's dry or wet anymore, but it is dry. Let's do it. Final race of the season. It is Valencia. Let's go. Okay, fastest overall. It's time for one last qualifying session in Moto2 before we move up. Let's do it. All right. Qualifying time. Schrotter is currently on provisional pole. 35.5. Let's see what we can do in comparison to that. See what the first sector says. Oh, looking good in sector one. Wide through turn four. Good through sector two as well. Two red sectors so far. Oh, that was close to the green. Come on, we're red in the first three sectors. Is this going to be pole or provisional pole? Yes, it is. A 33.9. There we go. Pole position for the final time in Moto2 pole. 0.9 of a second from Fernandez in second. Where are our teammates? Baldazari just behind Gardner. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what happens during the race. Let's hope uh, Baldazari can get some points as well as myself. Let's do it. Right. Track temperature. 26. Suggesting a hard front. I'm going for medium. 
It's just in a medium rare. I'll go with that. Medium, medium. Seems to be fine. What am I doing? Right. That's all sorted. Right, let's do it. Oh, Fernandez has gone for a soft rear tyre. Jake Dixon has gone for the same. Jake Dixon, of course, will be debuting MotoGP at Silverstone. Looking forward to seeing that. But this is it. The final Moto G uh, Moto2 uh, race of the season. I'll get my words out in a minute. Here we go. It's all about the team championship now. Oh, yeah, good. Back past Fernandez we go. Oh, Fernandez wide. I locked up the rear a little bit there. Oh, Fernandez is playing hardball. Someone's gone down. I hope that's not Baldazari. Ayagera there in second place. Oh, oh no, we just missed the green there. I'm wide. No, I. Ah. We're being beaten up a little bit here. Let's not forget, Fernandez is on a soft rear tyre. I mean, unfortunately, tyre wear doesn't seem to affect the AI on this game. Can't get past Ayagura at the moment. Try to get past I. He's a little wide there. That's better. Oh, that was close. That was very close to being taken out by Ayagura there. Try not to spin up the rear too much through here. Slipstream Fernandez. Fastest lap of the race to us as we go back into the lead. Where is Baldessari? Where is Remy Gardner? Fernandez again looking. He's got it. Right on him. And we're through. Oh, that's me way too wide. Oh, we've lost two places. Pazeki's through.
Pazaki wide. Come on, turn, 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 turn. All right, back in the second place. I need these guys to get in between. Well, when I get past Fernandez, to get in between myself and Fernandez, take some points off of him. Oh, thought about it. Right, we are through. Wide. Slide as well. Fernandez couldn't get through then. Is he going to go for another barge? Oh, Bezeki. Yes, that's what we need. We need him to take points off of Fernandez. Go on, people. Hopefully, Fernandez's rear tyre is going off now. Lowe's and Digi. I need them to get past Fernandez. Like I said, I don't know the situation with my teammate Baldessari and where Fernandez's teammate is, Gardner. Someone has just crashed, but not inside the top eight as I go too deep in there. Too hot. Well, Lowe's is up to second. Oh, Fernandez is struggling here. I think I can see Gardner. I think he's ahead of Baldessari. I couldn't see Lorenzo Baldessari. We're starting the penultimate lap of the race. Too hot, too hot, too hot. Right, let's just try and stay out front. And then just see what happens at the end. Yeah, Gardner is there in 7th place. Trouble is if they both score decent points. I'm not going to have a chance to win the, the team championship. I don't know where Baldessari is. Lowe's trying to come through. Gardner's ahead of Fernandez. Fernandez is fading. I can't see behind where Baldessari is. He's not inside the top eight. Final lap of the race now. Final lap of the season as well. Fernandez has dropped further back. This is good news. He's not inside the top eight. Too hot from me there. Got a bit of a lead though, which is good. About half a second. 
Just try not to spin up the rear too much through her. We're going to win the final race of the season. Where is our teammate? We've done it. Oh, I can't see. I think he might have been in the point. So Gardner fifth. There he is. He's, he finished ahead of Fernandez. I think we've done it. We've, well, we know we've won the championship. Yes. Look at that. We've done it at the final race of the season. Won the team championship by seven points. Wow. That was good. Well done, Baldessari. Well done. We've done it. So happy about that. Park Fermi. And then we go to the garage to collect our Moto2 World Championship trophy. Whew. That was a crazy race. That was a very crazy race. Had a bit of everything in it. I thought we were going to get taken out a couple of times there. Fernandez punching us wide a few times on the first lap. Ayagura lost the front and uh, nearly wiped us out with him. We managed to stay on. We managed to uh, regain the lead after losing it a few times. And our teammate managed to get ahead of Fernandez on the, well, probably the last lap. We managed to win the team championship as well. I didn't think we were going to do it. I didn't think our teammates were going to really get in the points at all. But Abadasari really helped out at Sepang, getting a uh, top five finish. What a season this has been. We've had a few crashes. But ultimately, we've managed to do it. MotoGP is next. With what team? Well, that's up to you guys. That's up to whatever you decide. So, going to collect our trophy. Rossi's helmet, Lorenzo's helmet, Mir's helmet, Marquez's helmet there on the left hand corner, and then ours. Good season. Quite a challenging season as well for Moto2. Looking forward to seeing our results. As we go to pick up the trophy. Well, we don't pick it up. We just stand there with our hands on our hips. Looking at it lovingly. And that's it. That is it. We're done in Moto2. MotoGP time is next. There we go. There's our results. So start off with a third at Qatar. And we won at uh, Argentina. A third at Cota. Two seconds in Portugal and Jerez. Then we had three wins on the bounce in uh, Le Mans, Mugello and Catalonia. Then we had some bad results with 25th at Satsaring after crashing a couple of times. Uh, it was raining in uh, Assen. And again, I crashed and uh, unfortunately just didn't have the grip anyway. So we were never going to be able to challenge at the front. Followed by two wins at uh, Finland and Austria. 11th place at Silverstone, which was not a good race. Followed by two more wins in Aragon and Mazzano. And then we had uh, a very bad race at uh, Mategi. We had a bad race at Thailand, but still we managed to beat our championship rivals there because they crashed as well. And then uh, we managed to get a win, a dominating win at Phillip Island. And then we finished off the season with a third at uh, Sepang uh, with Lowe's crashing just ahead of me. And then a dramatic win at a Valencia to finish it off. So yeah, it was a, a tough season, but a good one. And ultimately, we came out on top. So that's it for Moto2. So in terms of... I'll tell you what. We've got a few more um, teams to choose from as well. 
So what I'm going to need to do is jot all these down and put them in a pole. So these are all high prospects as well, which is good. I don't know why Pramac's maximum bike performance is not like as far as it needs to be because they are very competitive this season. So we've obviously sent um, negotiations to Avintia, LCR, VR46 and Aprilia. Um, but yeah, I'll add these to the list as well. So that is uh, potential for next season. Final standings for all three categories. It was Mazia who actually won Moto3. That's a surprise by two points. Pedro Costa, that obviously went down to the final race with Acosta just missing out at the uh, the final race there. So second place for him. Garcia third, Darren Binder fourth, and Antonelli in fifth. Moto2, we obviously won that by uh, 61 points from Lowe's in the end. Bezeki was third, Gardner fourth, and Marcel Schrotter was fifth. MotoGP, Zarco won. Okay. So Zarco is the MotoGP world champion, followed by Quattararo in second place. Just missed out by four points there. Bango third, Miller fourth, and Alish Aspargaro in fifth. Anyway, guys, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more content. So see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stay safe, watch hands, look after yourselves. See you guys next time. See you.